Anna is one of these single cell eukaryotes that live in the water and is capable of both photosynthesis and heterotrophy. From its unique characteristics and adaptations to its fascinating life cycle and ecological role, we will uncover the secrets of this fascinating organism. A closer look at the depth of the water reveals many small organisms to be swimming around, carrying out their diurnal functions. A closer look at one of them reveals a microscopic unicellular organism having a greenish color. These organisms are called euglena. The cells are cylindrical and 35 to 55 micrometer long. This fascinating organism is enclosed externally by a somewhat stiff yet flexible pellicle. It is composed of ribbon-like woven strips of proteinaceous material that cover the cell. As the cell wall is absent, the pellicle is responsible for providing strength and flexibility to the organism. An inside view of the cell shows a unique collection of organelles. There are many paramylon starch storage granules scattered in the cytoplasm. The center of the cell shows a prominent nucleus which contains the cell's DNA and controls the cell's activities. The nucleolus can be seen within the nucleus. Moreover, discoid chloroplasts are present in it. They are well developed, bright green and contain grana. Sometimes, pyrenoids are also present. At the posterior end is a pigmented body called the eye spot or the stigma, which acts as a light shield. It is the euglena's eye. There is a paraflagellar body, which is the base of the emergent flagella. A sac-like structure is observed here. This specialized structure is called the contractile vacuole. As water continuously diffuses within the body, the excessive water eventually flows towards the contractile vacuole, where it is stored temporarily. Once the vacuole is filled to the capacity, it migrates towards the membrane, where it releases the extra water out of the body. This periodic activity is called osmoregulation. The euglena can photosynthesize like plants. This is facilitated by the chloroplast present within the euglena, which traps sunlight and use it for photosynthesis. So it is capable of producing its own food. So it is called an autotroph. But it can also act as a heterotroph. Then the euglena engulfs its prey by phagocytosis. Movement is affected in euglena due to its long tail-like flagella, which helps in locomotion. It whips it around through water. Once the cell achieves its maximum size, it reproduces. During favorable conditions, reproduction is in a sexual mode by longitudinal cell division. Sexual reproduction is unknown. When it is too hot or cold for a euglena, it shrinks and becomes rounded. Eventually, it forms a protective casing called a cyst around its body that protects it until conditions outside become favorable. Let's summarize. Euglena is a unicellular organism having a greenish color appearance. It is enclosed in a pellicle which is responsible for strength and flexibility. The euglena also has a pigmented eye spot at the posterior which functions as a light shield Osmoregulation is seen in the euglena with the help of contractile vacuole. The euglena can act as both autotroph and heterotroph. The euglena engulfs its prey by phagocytosis. When it is too hot or cold for a euglena, it forms a protective casing called a cyst around its body. Some species of euglena have the characteristics of both a plant and an animal.